Alright guys, so uh, here's a, a quick uh, welding tank video and uh, argon regulator setup video. Uh, obviously we've got the TIG Weld 200 here made by Longevity Welding. And, um, and I got my big argon tank here I just picked up from my local welding store, Robinson Welding. And um, so basically, uh, as you can see, all bottles should be shipped. In, I don't know if you're, I know you're supposed to, but I don't know if they, there's a law or something about it. But um, with this capper here, obviously you can't get to the valve, and this thing is just so uh, if the cylinder tips over and uh, hits right on where the valve would be, it doesn't break off and shoot off like a rocket. So that's why that's here. And you gotta, you have to uh, ship it like that. And uh, yeah, so uh, now what we're gonna do is gonna show you how to load it up in your welding cart. And then also how to attach your regulator, how to set your uh, uh, your uh, flow meter setting and your flow rate. So uh, now just uh, we're gonna come back on right here. We're gonna go to the back of the welding cart and uh, uh, we'll show you how to uh, put your tank in here. And then all you're gonna do is just pick up your argon bottle. Nice and gently set it in there. Adjust it a little bit. Now it's sitting in there nice. So uh, now we're just going to take the chains and uh, we're wrap it around. Now we're just going to unscrew this part right here. You should always do this last. Make sure this tank is totally secure first. And so we're just going to screw this on first. So once it's in there pretty good, I like to grab my grab my big wrench here. Another thing is, don't put Teflon tape on these. I mean, you can see there's Teflon tape here, but that's different because the way this joins to the bottle is it's not a the the sealant is not in the threads. It's in a like a a ball. It's like you have a convex and a concave thing and they fit together. If there's a leak, it's gonna it's gonna leak. No matter if you have um, Teflon tape through here, it's gonna leak through here. So it's it, it won't do you any good anyway. So there's really no need to do that anyway. Just gonna tighten this up by hand first and then tighten it up. Okay. You don't wanna over, you don't wanna crank down on them because you're gonna strip it and you're gonna, on those convex and concave parts, you're gonna put creases in them if you're twisting this thing and then the seal is gonna be really bad and then it's, you're gonna have to buy a new regulator or get this one repaired and it's just not worth it. So, make sure it's nice and tight and uh, then we're pretty much good to go. Alright, so uh, you can see the regulator here. And uh, first thing you want to do is, especially when you got a brand new bottle, you want to make sure that this is uh, closed. And you'd think it's, it's not like an oxy fuel rig where you would unscrew these all the way and then to, tight, and to, to get uh, pressure, you'd tighten it. This one actually, when it's tightened like a bottle cap, clockwise, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's the way it is. So when I undo it like that, that's what lets the float out. So basically what I, what I like to do is I like to turn on my machine, uh, set it to TIG and everything, make that work, and uh, then I like to turn on my bottle, check the pressure, this feels real good, it's over 2000 PSI, so then we're good, and uh, you, can open up, you can open up your argon all the way for things like acetylene, um, you don't want to do that. And uh, propane you can, but really just like the really unstable gases, not a big thing. But argon and oxygen you can do that with. And so then a way to really find your flow rate, and uh, you can just find is I like to keep it around five. That's really the best way to do it. What I like to do, open it up till it gets to five, like that, and you're pretty much set. But to check it, once it goes down, you're gonna take your TIG torch. Then you're gonna you're gonna press it, 
Well, if my TIG torch was hooked up, <laughs> but I know it's right, but I would just click the TIG torch and this would go up and stay there for my five or ten seconds, whatever I am, my purge uh, post flow app, and it would it would stay there so you know that it's set up right. So uh, yeah, that's my short video on how to set up your uh, argon tank and your argon regulator and your longevity welder. And so uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe.